Hi everyone, welcome back. Wanted to cover um, one of the features of the car today. Wanted to cover the preconditioning of the car. And uh, what's that? Well, it's the uh, air conditioning or the heater um, for when you want uh, the car pre-warmed or pre-cooled before you set off. So there's a feature in the car where you can set a time, it's your departure time, and uh, the car will be ready for you at the right temperature that you set. So how does that work and uh, how do you set it up? Let's see. The charger is currently disconnected. If we uh, just go and plug it in. And it now tells me it's waiting for the car. So the first thing we have to do in the car is turn it on, so foot on the brake, press the power button, the car will be on. And now we're ready to set the uh, preconditioning, so go into the EV menu, and it's down here, charge management. We've got next departure is currently off, and it's charging is off, and we've got here the preconditioning is currently off, and it's got the time settings in there that we used last time. You'll note on here that uh, AC charger is set to 50% and yet I'm already at 56% so that's why the car isn't charging right now. It's plugged in but it's not charging because I've got a charge limit set and that's already been met. So in here, charge management, we've got several options and the one we need to set is the target temperature. Target temperature is set and now as soon as you set that You've got your little blue light on here showing the fan and the timer to indicate that you have a scheduled timer set. And up on here on the top one, we have the actual departure times. You've got two to choose from and I've only got one enabled, one with the blue light on. And it's set to 10.20, so let's set that to 11 o'clock. Oh, go on, 10.50. There we go, it's set for all the days. And that's done. So we're not scheduling to do any charging, we are scheduling to have a target temperature and we have set a departure time of 10.50. So if we turn the car off, that's it, that's done. So if I get out now and walk away, then the car will be cooled to 18 and a half degrees when I come back. So rather than waiting for that time and <laughs> to show you what happens, um, what I want to show you is uh, the result of some testing that I've done. Basically, it takes half an hour for the cooling or heating. Not that it takes that long to actually do the job, but that's the amount of time that uh, it allows. So if we go in and set a time of less than half an hour from now, it will detect that the time is ready and it will come on. So where are we at the moment? So, the time set is 10.50, well that's, uh, what's that, that's uh, an hour and 20 minutes-ish uh, time, so if we set that to be 10 o'clock instead, okay, so that's less than half an hour now, and we turn the car off. Now what's going to happen? And hey presto, the car's detected that it's uh, half an hour or less and it's turned the air conditioning on to get it down to 18 and a half degrees. The uh, indicator light is flashing down there and air recirculation is on, so you can see that as well. So it's taking the most economical route to get the temperature down in the car. Interestingly over here, let's just zoom in so you can see it. There you go. So at the moment it's charging at 6.9 kilowatts and yet I didn't ask for a charge, so why is that? Well that's because um, it's trying to maintain the battery at the same level and your range at the same level uh, without impacting um, anything else while you're doing this preconditioning. So it's not actually using your range up, it's not using your battery up. It's drawing the current from the grid to power it. And as you can see there, it's now come down. So it gives it an initial burst for some reason. Uh, that seems to be sanded and then it reduces down to just the amount of electricity.
electricity it needs. And obviously the ignition's gone off now because I've turned the car off. And this is the message you get up on the screen. So there you go, that's how it works, that's preconditioning, and obviously it'll work out whether it needs to put the heater on or the air conditioning unit on, and it'll cool or heat your car as you've required. And it's nice and simple. The half an hour, yeah, that to me seems a little excessive, that um, I would have thought 10 minutes, 15 tops would have been enough, but how much more electricity it uses once, once it gets to the actual temperature um, that you've set, then uh, I suppose it doesn't use a lot of electricity to keep, uh, keep it topped up at that temperature, so... Maybe that's uh, a good thing or not, but you know, I would have thought quarter of an hour would have been enough. But that's how it works anyway, so you can't really go out and set it for half an hour's time because it will come on instantly. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain with the Hyundai Kona that you can't do it from indoors. Um, it is frustrating that you can't do it. Um, personally, I find it more frustrating. You actually have to turn the car on to do it. it, it uh, it's it's beyond me really as to why they've done that. You should be able to change the charge management and the temperature management and the preconditioning without the car being fully on. Um, you just need the uh, infotainment screen on to be able to change the settings. So yeah, that's, that's a frustration with the Kona that you can't do it um, without the car on or without an app. So yeah, in the Nissan Leaf, yeah, apparently you can do it from your phone indoors and it uses a 3G connection and it will send the data over the network to your car and tell it to wake up at the right time, those sort of things, so long as you've got um, 3G reception on your car, obviously. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope that's useful to some people. It is autumn now in the UK. It's starting to get cooler. It won't be many more weeks or months and then we'll have frosts and we'll want this preconditioning. And yeah, the cable has to be plugged in. It doesn't have to be actually physically charging, but it has to be connected to your charger. So thank you all for watching. As always, thank you for subscribing. Uh, it's really nice to see how many people are joining now and uh, watching the journey. And Hopefully I'll share more and more information with you. It, it gets a little hard sometimes that uh, I don't really want to do a video for every journey I do going out in the car and seeing a car driving isn't of uh, interest. So I'll try and limit what I'm presenting to be just the useful stuff and the, uh, the summary information about what the car can do and what its range capabilities are and anything exceptional I can find. So until the next time, thanks for watching everyone. See you again soon. Bye for now.